Mm -hmm. Wow. Talking this early in the morning feels not nice. <laughs> Normally I stay silent for like the first three hours that I'm awake because I have nothing to talk to <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm currently sitting here in my office enjoying My morning coffee, which is really the only thing that truly gets me out of bed in the morning So as you can probably tell by the title I'm sure or how the video began we are gonna be going through my morning routine uh, This isn't going to be just like every other morning routine I've ever done or maybe it will be similar, but mostly I really wanted to talk about very specifically how I am productive, especially as somebody who works from home. I would say definitely over the last mm, like year, year and a half, I have most absolutely <laughs> struggled with staying productive since I do work from home. And that's because before, you know, a year, year and a half ago, I went to school. So going to school definitely forces you to be productive. You just have no choice. You have to wake up early. You have to, you know, complete these tasks in order to get everything done. And it's really funny because after I finished school, I had all these grand, grand plans for myself. I was like, I'm gonna have so much time now. I'm gonna be able to focus so much more of my efforts onto YouTube, which is true. But putting that to action is not always the easiest. So while I do obviously get my work done, I feel like my productivity level wasn't as good as it could have been because I wasn't really optimizing my time as well as I was able to. As somebody who does work for myself, I do totally recognize the privilege that I do have to kind of make my own schedule. That's probably one of the biggest pluses for working for yourself is just being able to wake up whenever you want, do whatever you want, etc etc but the drawback to that as well is that you can wake up whenever you want which means nobody's gonna yell at you if you get out of bed at 11 and nobody's gonna yell at you if you don't do any work for the day you have to be self-disciplined enough in order to get it done yourself so i would say within the last six months i've kind of changed my routine completely what i wanted to quickly talk about with you guys before we get into the actual routine is why i actually wake up as early as i do um when i don't really necessarily have to so i do try and wake up between 5 30 and 6 on most days i know this probably doesn't sound super early to some of you but for me that's it's not the norm so it definitely was a struggle to get to the point where i was able to wake up that early and not want to just snooze my alarm over and over and over again until I slept until 9 a.m. So I think the most obvious point is that waking up that early does allow me to be like the most productive as possible. I feel like I'm able to get so much more done and it's not even just like the actual hours that I have in the day, it really is more of like a mindset. When I wake up too late, I feel such a difference in just like the way that I feel. I feel so much more anxious. I feel like I'm rushing throughout the whole entire day, trying to get stuff done. Whereas those extra like three hours in the morning, just allows me that time to get my shit together and get it together without feeling like I'm racing against the clock. Waking up early has also allowed me to give myself a little bit of more me time in the morning and I know that sounds so cheesy, but I realize how important that is because for the rest of the day, I feel like my energy is more so directed outwards and not so much inwards. And so I pretty much give myself like a typical work day. I work from around 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. depending on the day, sometimes earlier, sometimes later, but most days that's what I do. And that allows me to then be able to, you know, chill at night, hang out with friends, do other things and not have to work until two, three in the morning. It creates boundaries and it also creates balance in your life. Now, I do have a few tips for those of you who want to wake up earlier, but don't really know how to do it, how to actually get yourself to get out of that bed super early in the morning. So the first tip is kind of obvious and I feel really stupid saying it, but go to bed as early as possible the night before. You know, it's really all about just creating a new habit. So once your body is used to going to bed early, waking up early, it's not gonna be so hard. It's really just gonna be those first few days that you're really gonna feel it. So you kind of just gotta push through. My second tip is to jump out of bed as soon as your alarm goes off. I cannot stress this enough. If you linger, if you even like put your hand on your phone and like hover over a social media icon, you are going to be 
just stuck in bed for another hour. There's, there's no denying it. My third tip is also using an actual physical alarm clock and not your phone as your morning alarm. If you use your phone as an alarm, when you pick up your phone, your phone is already in your hand, um, which can be a problem for some of us who have impulse control. I would also say have something that you look forward to <laughs> for when you actually get out of bed. For me, it's totally my coffee. So after I have my coffee in the morning, I do like to make myself a little breakfast. I am absolutely a creature of habit and I go through major breakfast phases. Um, so I'll kind of stick to the same breakfast for like six months at a time until I get sick of it. So I'm gonna show you guys my go-to smoothie. Step number one, grab your blender. This is my Vitamix. First things first, mangoes. A nice little gentle handful in there. Cherries. Now I don't measure anything, I kind of just eyeball it. So I'm sorry, I can't give you any measurements, but again, a gentle handful. A far too ripe banana. Now I normally use almond butter in this smoothie, but I cannot find it. I think I ran out. So I'm gonna use this organic pumpkin seam butter, which sounds really weird. And it is, but I feel like this is kind of similar in taste to almond butter and it's very good for you as well. So I'm just gonna take about that much, a very small amount, pop that in there. I also like to put half an avocado or a quarter of an avocado in my smoothie. I know it sounds really, really gross, but it just makes it really creamy and it also makes it a little bit more filling and adds some nice good fats. And then for my liquid of choice, I always use a non-dairy milk. This one is oat milk. It's good. <laughs> I'm doing a very awkward squat right now. Smoothie is done. Smoothie time also kind of signifies the beginning of my work day. So I just made my way into my office. First of all, say hi to my brand new office. You guys will be getting a tour of it once it's completely done. It's not done yet though, so don't look. But now is the time that I make my way to my computer and I start to do some work. Work for me typically means editing. So if I have a video to edit, now is the time where I will start editing. Um, I'll work on emails. And if it is a filming day and I don't have an idea for what I wanna film because that happens a lot. Sometimes I come up with the idea literally five minutes before I press record on my camera. And if that's the case, then I'll do some brainstorming so that um, when I get back from the gym, I can start right away and I don't have to waste any time. So I have about an hour before I have to leave to go to the gym, so I'm just gonna take the next hour just to edit, I think. Um, I think I'm even gonna edit the video that you guys are watching now. Hello, I'm back. I'm wearing my gym clothes right now because I am getting ready to go to the gym, at least I got the editing done for the first half of this video, which is awesome. Working out, especially working out in the morning is another way to kind of increase my productivity. Because working out is an important part of my life, um, I like to kind of get it out of the way in the morning. And I also find working out in the morning really does kind of get me going a little bit more. Working from home, you also tend to stay home for most of the day, which can be a little bit hard, um, not having any social interaction. So I do kind of like getting out of the house right in the morning after doing a little bit of work. And like I said, working out just kind of gets me in the mindset of moving and going and doing stuff, which is important. Okay, let's go. Please excuse this extremely odd angle, but I wanted to uh, chat with you guys while I was driving to the gym. So like I said, it can get very, very lonely working from home. That's something that not a lot of people consider is that you are literally isolated by yourself 24 hours of the day. I mean, that's if you don't you know, leave your house. And sometimes I don't leave my house. Like there has been stretches of like two or three days where I just don't leave my house because I'm either really busy working and like I'm just constantly doing stuff at home and then all of a sudden 72 hours pass and you're like oh I haven't seen the outside world in three days. I actually find that taking small breaks throughout the day and leaving my house and just kind of like getting some fresh air um, increases my productivity because I just don't get burnt out. So I got home from the gym, I jumped straight into the shower, and I washed my hair. I just threw on some clothes so I wouldn't be naked for you guys on camera. Here's another tip that I have for you, by the way. 
I'm wearing real clothes right now. If you work from home, highly recommend not working in your pajamas or super, super comfy clothes, as tempting as it may be. The old saying, you know, dress for success <laughs> really does come into play because even if I'm not leaving the house, if I'm physically put together, it just kind of makes me work better. Um, I feel like I'm a little bit less lazy. I'm less likely to, you know, take a nap in the middle of the day. So definitely putting on real, real clothes like you would leave the house is a good, good, good tip. So today is filming day, which means I actually have to look good. So I just went ahead and washed my hair. The sweaty gym hair wasn't gonna cut it. This portion of the video is in partnership with Riojio, which is very exciting. You guys know how much I love Riojio. I talk about them all the time. Their hair care products truly are some of my all time favorite hair care products ever, like their shampoos, their conditioners, their masks, they're all some of my go-tos. So I wanted to let you guys know that right now, Riojio is holding a site-wide early Black Friday 20% off sale, which is amazing. So if you wanna get any of their products at a discount, now is a really good time to pick some stuff up. During the holiday time, Riojio releases some really, really amazing sets. So they have a set that's called the Ultimate Hair Repair Vault, and all the products individually cost $127, but if you buy them in a kit, it's $89, so it makes it $30 percent off which is amazing plus the 20 percent off for the black friday sale i mean it's kind of a no-brainer so like i said in the vault there's some of my favorite products we have the don't despair repair super moisture shampoo this shampoo is almost as if a shampoo and a hair mask had a baby it's very very cleansing but it's also super moisturizing so it's not going to be a shampoo that's going to strip your hair it's actually going to add a lot of moisture to it so it's really great especially if you have a drier hair type so this is included in the vault and of course it is full size with the pump this pump by the way is the best thing ever in the shower because it's just so easy to dispense and then of course the kit also includes a Riojio classic the don't despair repair deep conditioning mask this is like my ultimate favorite hair mask i use this literally every single time i wash my hair as my conditioner because my hair just loves it there's a lot of really really good stuff in this mask there's coconut avocado sweet almond and argan oil and also vitamin b5 and biotin so it's really really reparative it's really hydrating the vault also comes with the don't despair repair strength and moisture leave-in mask i've spoken about this before this is one of my all-time all-time favorite leave-in treatments especially when i leave my hair curly because when my hair is curly it's way more prone to frizz and this is one of of the only products that I use that actually smooths my curls and makes them look really really nice and shiny so no matter what other products I'm putting in my hair this is always the one that I put in first because it truly makes like the biggest difference in how shiny and healthy my hair looks the set also comes with three of these don't just spare repair deep conditioning hair cap systems so these are pretty much like a two-in-one hair mask so you have step one which is a deep conditioning hair treatment which you put all over your hair and then step two is an actual cap that you put onto your head to really allow the treatment to like get to work and what's really cool is the caps that these come with are actually argon oil lined so it just adds even more hydration to your hair so with all of these products, I swear your hair will just be in like tip top condition. So of course, already washed my hair with the shampoo and I used the hair mask. So now I'm gonna go in with the leave-in treatment and just spray this throughout my hair. I especially concentrate it towards the ends. And then for the top of my hair, because I don't want it to get too heavy, I like to just spray it in my palm, rub it between my hands and then kind of just comb it through that way so that I don't over apply it. I mentioned before that I am trying to grow out my hair. So using products that actually work and especially moisturizing my hair and just keeping it looking and feeling healthy has been very very important so like i said briogeo right now is having a 20 percent site-wide discount for black friday if you guys want to check it out i will have all the links down below you could also use the promo code jamie or holiday to get the discount so yeah that has been my hair routine as of late i'm gonna go ahead and actually blow dry it and then once it's smooth i'm gonna show you guys how i've been curling my hair lately especially for my videos Okay, so I just finished very quickly like rough drying my hair and now I'm just gonna go ahead and start to curl it This has been my go-to Hairstyle as of late. Um, it's really really quick really easy to do and it actually stays For days like once I do it It stays for like three or four days until my hair is just so dirty that I have to wash it Which is wonderful. So there's really nothing crazy with this hairstyle like literally all that I do is I just curl my hair away from my face. So if I'm curling this side, then I make sure to curl going that way. If I'm curling this side of my hair, then I curl the opposite way. And I also don't touch the curls after I'm done curling them. I kind of just let them 
cool down and set and then once I'm actually done my whole entire head then I will spray in some hairspray and just brush through my curls with my fingers and that's gonna kind of bring it all together honestly for me I need my hair to be really quick and easy because in order for me to be as productive as possible I need to you know get going as quickly as possible I don't like to take too much time getting ready I like maximum results with as little effort as possible Okay, so I'm just gonna finish curling this and then I'll be back to show you guys the finished result. All right, hair is now complete. This is the finished look. Look how nice and shiny it looks. I'm obsessed. Looks so good. And this is, like I said, gonna stay for days. So that just means I won't have to keep redoing it, which will again save some time. So all that's left to do is to film a video. So here I am sitting in my studio. This is what I'm looking at when I film. A very, very bright light. <laughs> My table here in front of me, I got the products that I'm going to be talking about right over here. I'm going to be filming a dry skin routine. So I will spend the next like two hours filming a video and then once I'm done filming, I'll head straight into editing. Hi, looking a little bit different right now. I finished filming, I took off all of my makeup and I also changed my clothes into something a little bit comfier. I'm wearing a sweatshirt and some leggings right now because I plan on going to the cafe. I have my laptop here. I also have my agenda and I'm going to go and edit the video that I just filmed until I'm pretty much done editing it. So that should take probably about four hours, four or five hours, depending on how creative I plan on getting with this. The plan is though, once I'm done editing, I'm actually going to open up my agenda and plan out the next few days slash next week because that is something else that I need to do in order to be able to stay productive. Planning in my agenda and just kind of figuring out what I have to do for the week is the best way to stay organized. It's the best way to make sure that I stay on task and that I actually get stuff done. So that's for the time right now. I don't know if you can see, it's not focusing, but it's just about to hit 1 p.m. Honestly, I feel so tired right now, I'm not gonna lie. That's one thing about waking up early that I still feel like I'm not totally used to is that I do get kind of like a 1 p.m., 2 p.m. crash and I start to get super, super tired. So that's also a good thing about working from the cafe is that I can have as much coffee and matcha as possible. But another thing that's really been helping me through my midday crashes is this Alani New energy drink. It's a pretty clean energy drink. There's not sugar in here, it's only 10 calories, so it's good and it really does like help me power through. Time to go to the cafe and finish off this work and then I'm done for the day. So I'm officially done working at the cafe. I'm not actually done my work though. I was editing for about three hours and then I started working on like my schedule for next week. I still have a little bit more work to do but I figured I would go home and finish the work there because I'm hungry and I need to get some food. So that's my typical day. Not the most exciting thing in the world, but I really hope that it at least gave you some insight of how I try to stay as productive as possible working from home. I hope my little tips and tricks on how to wake up early and how to, you know, just get the most out of your day was helpful. I would love if you guys could let me know down below in the comments some of your favorite tips that you use to stay as productive as possible, especially if you work from home or even if you don't, if you work in an office, what are some tips that you use while you're at the office to keep your workday going as smoothly as possible? I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Thank you so much to Briogeo for sponsoring a portion of today's video. And don't forget that Briogeo is currently having their site-wide 20% off early Black Friday discount. If you use the code Jamie or Holiday, Get a nice little discount. This was absolutely more than a morning routine. We are really heading into the, the mid-afternoon, almost evening at this point, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!